if you're younger, you might hear a lot that you should follow your passion. And in this video, I want to help you in the process by actually telling you that you shouldn't follow your passion. But before you click away, let me explain and share with you. Hey, ihr Lieben, it's Yesh here, yeshuabolton.com. Welcome back to my channel. In this vid, I'm connecting to a previous video that you can watch here if you want that I already shared about following your passion. And I want to share again about this topic because it's something that God has been moving in my heart the past weeks. And I think it could really be of help for some of you. So this video is more for the people that are maybe like me, that already know what your passion is, or maybe a little bit about your passion. I want to say also real quick that with passion, I don't technically think it's something necessarily bad. I mean with passion something that is connected to, you know, your passion or your desire connected to a gift or a talent. But we should ask the question, why do you, why do I want to follow that passion? Is it for money? Is it for fame maybe? Is it for maybe helping other people? Or is it helping other people? Or maybe you feel called to like follow this passion and do and follow this talent do that talent all these things are not necessarily a sin they're not bad per se but it's your mindset that is important your mindset your attitude your position in your heart your heart attitude will determine the outcome and the result the fruit out of your passion and that is why you shouldn't just follow your passion. See, Jesus says in John 15, I think it's in verse 8, that we all should produce fruit. We should bear fruit. And I believe Jesus means to get people saved, healed, delivered, and restored. That's the calling that we Christians have in this world. And Paul also says in 1 Corinthians 3, I believe uh, from verses 10 to 15, we are, after we're saved, we are building upon, you know, the salvation of Christ. We are building either with things that have eternal value or things that will be burned up in his fire. Either we sow in the spirit, which is life and has eternal value, or we sow in the flesh, which is selfish which is enmity with god which is just a waste of time almost you could say and it's just death the bible says another reason why we shouldn't just follow our passion because if we do it just for ourselves it's for ourselves it's in the flesh and one day we'll be burned up in god's fire we should examine ourselves why do we want to follow this passion? Why do we want to do what we want to do? Is it just for yourself? Is it just to get money or, you know, have a big name or be seen or finally have fulfillment in your desire? Or is it really, truly surrendered to God? Is it truly for God? Have you selflessly asked him, God, what is your plan in this? Have you selflessly surrendered this passion, this desire, maybe this feeling, or this gift and this talent? Have you asked God, what is your plan with this? How can I use this for you? Have you asked God, how can I glorify your name and glorify you and point towards you in this gifting and this talent? I want to give you some examples of people that I've seen doing that already. Being in a carnal, like, passionate mindset or, or state, but doing it all for God. I know a business people that have a multi-million business that, you know, work in the carnal business world, if you want to say it that way. But every partner, every person that goes through this, this business knows, they, they make sure they know that all this business is because of Jesus, because Jesus has given a product, literally has given them a product that they can produce and sell, and that this business is as productive because of Jesus. They use that business to point to Jesus and try to bring people to Jesus. I know a good friend of mine who is a op passionate opera singer, who wants to sing to reach people for Jesus, to bring people to Jesus. I know a talented painter who 
loves to paint paintings, but she's not just doing it to like earn money or just to to fulfill her desire of painting and being artsy or something. She is actually asking the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit gives her pictures that she then paints prophetically and they're really powerful pictures. I've seen professional soccer player professing their faith openly and saying, hey, you know, we're here in this you know, carnal, worldly place because we want to impact people for Jesus. We want to shine our light for Jesus, give testimony for Jesus. So I want to encourage you before you consider going all in in your passion and whatever you think you want to do, I want to urge you that you first really seek God and that you can consider really surrendering your passion, your talent, your gift fully to God and ask him what he wants to do with it. Maybe you should also ask him why you want to do what you want to do. Let him show you the why that is in your heart. Maybe you need healing, cleansing, maybe a revelation, maybe a change of heart. Maybe you just need encouragement. Maybe God wants to enlarge your tent and wants you release you in that gifting because your heart is already, already right. Whatever it is, pray and seek him that he can work on you and work on your heart. As I already said, the why is more important than the what. Maybe you don't know what you're passionate about yet, and that is fine. But before you find out what you're passionate about, get the why straight, that whatever it is God has in store for you, make sure that the why is clear, that you love Jesus with all your heart, soul, mind and strength and that you want to do all these things that you do outwardly for God. That's what the Word of God calls us for, to love God with all our heart, soul, mind and strength. That should be the why. So why shouldn't you follow your passion? Because you should first follow Jesus who then will show you the why, the where, the when and what with what passion he has given you, he wants to make an eternal, everlasting impact in the world through you. Guys, thank you so much for watching all the way here. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you want to watch more content on me trying to help you grow in faith, experience the gospel, and then trying to help you walk it out daily. Also, check out the the awesome content that I have already out here, not because I'm awesome, but because I think God has really given me some some messages for you to grow in faith and to experience him and to help you walk it out daily and always remember share this video and the gospel with a friend god bless you see you in the next video